Welcome back, everyone. This is Thomas Triple T Tai with another new bullish crypto analysis. Let's dig in and look at the on chain bottom indicators. We're going to start with the uh, BTC realized ho uh, hodler ratio. And um, what we want to see here is um, the red lines and the uh, the warmer lines, red and orange. So currently we're right here. And you see the red line is still going down. Um, let's just, actually, before we dive in there, let's review some of the um, areas where it bottoms out. Uh, let's zoom in. Let's do a one year, maybe three years. Okay. You can see here when Bitcoin tops, see where the, uh, the red line is? It's at the top of all the other lines. And then when Bitcoin starts diving, you see how that red line dives and crosses all the others and then bottoms at the bottoms here. And if it's a steeper dip, the uh, red line will dip below all the other lines. Like, for example, this position here, the drop from this top point to this bottom point was enough to cause the red line to drop below all the others. Sometimes it only drops below a certain number of lines and that just indicates how steep of a drop that is. So in this, for this bottom here, you can see that it only dropped below the orange and the, um, the uh, what is it, lime green color line? Only two lines there. But here it dropped below all the other lines. So currently it dropped below all the other lines, but the, the slope, the downward slope is still very steep. Let's zoom in here uh, into a three, uh, six months. Let's do six months. You can see more clearly that the slope is still going down at a, roughly about 45 degrees. And it hasn't bottomed out yet. You can see in the past, it bottoms out. That's what we want to see. When it bottoms out, that's a very good indicator that we have, um, or at least curving towards the bottom. It's an indicator that uh, the bottom is uh, is in or coming in. But it's not on this chart. Let's look at um, another one. This one is, let's zoom out here. What is April 2019? Let's go back to uh, all. This one is the BTC Entity Adjusted Dormancy Flow. And I'll go in, into these charts separately on their own a different time, but we're just going to look at bottom indicators for today. The green line here represents an alarm for a, a, a potential bottom. And you've seen that we... We, here in 2012, it hit bottom here to, to 2015 and so on and so forth. Here, we, we have crossed the bottom up uh, below the green line like we did here and here 2020, 2000, uh, July 18th, 2021. And let's zoom in and see how that's looking at. What's interesting here is it crossed the green line, bottoms out, rounds off, then turns back up to the green line and floats right along the green line. Uh, so in a way, that's slightly bullish that it's curving back up. But at the same time, it's trending horizontally and currently it's peaking down below the green line. So it could swing back down again. But it looked bull it looked bullish for a little bit. Let's go to the uh, MVRV Z score. And this is also an indicator for bottoms. Here you can see here it reached uh, bottom here, if here, here, 2019, here at May 14th, 2020. Here, July 17th, 2021. And here we are near that bottom point again. 
uh, but it's relative. I mean, as long as it crosses a certain threshold, then it show a potential bottom. Let's zoom in and take a look at the six months. It's the, um, the price is the dark black line. Uh, it, the brown line is the uh, one we're focusing on. You can see here it's going kind of somewhat horizontal. It had a steep trend down at a 45 degree roughly average. And then it's going more horizontally now since roughly around July, uh, I'm sorry, January the 7th. It's been going sideways. It's, it did that uh, before too. This is slightly trending down. But back in the early December, December the 4th, the 5th, it went sideways kind of and then kind of consolidated but trended down a little bit. It's currently, it's consolidating sideways. Uh, so it could signal a potential bottom here, but we want to take a look at other indicators as well. This one is the realized uh, price to liveliness ratio. And... Um, this can can use to indicate bottoms because, for example, here back in um, July the twenty fourth, uh, it reached that period's bottom here when it hit the uh, hit the orange line. Uh, that's the realized uh, price to li liveliness ratio, uh, and so it's currently doing that. Let's zoom in to the six months and take a look at that. You can see here, let's go back to July. I'm going to pull back a little bit. This is the around the June, July period. You see how it went to the uh, the orange line here, bounced off of it, went up, uh, went down, crosses the orange line for, let's see how long that was, July 19th, and that's July 20th. So one day, touched below, and then went back up. So put it... Uh, good support level here and let's go back to where we are now so where we are now is like if you trace a, a line a slope directly down it's heading towards this orange line it hasn't turned around yet here it looked like it was going to turn around back on G January the 9th bounce up went down again so it's slightly trending down currently so it could very well touch this uh, line if it goes below this orange realized price to liveliness ratio line, we could end up with something like these periods right here. It went below, stayed below for a little bit. This one was roughly June 14th, 2020 to roughly July 27, 2020. Or this period here, it went below that. Uh, February 25th, 2020 to roughly May the 7th. So it could spend some like months down here, <laughs> a day down there, or in this period right here, it went below in on May the 12th, 2018 and stay below pretty much for until May 16th, 2019. So that was about a year. But here it also dipped below that blue line and the blue line is the realized price. And that's not a good sign. We don't want that. And so, yeah, it could be a year, it could be a day, it could be a couple months, but currently it's above it, but trending down toward it. So it's, uh, it doesn't, end, um, doesn't look like the bottom's in yet for this indicator. Let's look at the price temperature. Uh, price temperature, we are, uh, similar to the previous chart, we have a, a few lines here, up here, the ribbons, red, uh, yellow and green. Currently, it's pretty much uh, riding along the green line um, since May the 21st. It went down below the green line, went back up, went down, went back up, went down again. It's currently below the green line. And this um, this purplish, dark uh, purplish line is what we want to use for uh, bottom indicators. You can see here, it, it curved out at the bottom here, and you can see the price above which is the dark gray line here. And that's also bottoming out. Here it bottomed out here in on January the 2nd, 2019, in that period. Another bottom here on uh, March 16th, 2020. Bottom out 
here roughly around July 17th, 2021. And again, here, September 26th. And we're, this is where we are. So it's still going down. Let's zoom in and see what that looks like in the six months. So here's the six months. Dark gray line is the price. Deep purple line is what we're looking at for a bottom indicator. You can see it's trending down and continue trending down. It level off here, but it's still trending down recently. So pretty much still steep angle going down. So not quite showing a bottom yet on this chart. Let's take a look at the uh, BTC value days destroys, uh, destroyed multiple. And that's the orange line here. Black is the price line. And uh, the green horizontal line is our threshold of when a bottom could be coming in and we're below that. And so you can see here, um, I'll show you some previous bottoms here. So previously we have um, a bottom here, February the 14th. We saw that on the other chart. Bottom over here, May the 22nd, 2015. So it does work. It has more variabilities, but um, it is a good indicator as well. So let's zoom in and see where we are at. We're currently right here. We'll do a six months zoom. You can see here, um, it's trending down on the orange line, it's trending down, crosses below the green line. and But the slope is lessening out, like it's leveling off, which is a good sign, but it's still a, an angle downward. Recently, in the last several days, it seems like it's flattening out, which is a good sign, but there's still a slight slope downward. So when it flattens out, like, uh, or turns around, we'll know that a, a bottom is in. Like, for example, during this period here on uh, September the 21st, 2021, you can see that it leveled off as it came through here, goes down, peaks back up, level off, and then went up. This is where, where we want to see. We want to see it go up, and it could level off too. That's okay. But we want to see the next few days to trend up. That's an indicator that we've uh, reached a bottom and we're turning it around. We're not there yet. Let's go and take a look at the BTC spent volume, six months to five years. And the... Um, Price is the black line here. The uh, blue line is the uh, the bottom indicator. We uh, currently is below this orange or yellowish horizontal line, and uh, we you can see it's if it, it bounces up and down, and currently it's on the downward trend, and uh, here it reached the bottom. Right, let's see if we can get as close as possible. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Let me zoom in. It's very difficult to do that. Let's see here. Okay, here we go. You can see here, here's a bottom here around September the 26th, 28th here. Uh, I reached the bottom right around there and then trend it back up. Here, we our slope is still, again, trending down with no leveling off yet. You can see here, things go down, level off, go down, went up went up and trend up. We're still going down. So projection-wise, uh, bottom indicator is not in yet. Let's go to the entity adjusted dormancy flow. Uh, horizontal green line here is our um, bottom indicator. Uh, if it crosses, touches here, or drops below, good indication that, that a bottom is coming or is there. Price line is the uh, grayish line here. Orange line is uh, what we want to take a look at. We got a bottom here back in um, March. The f uh, Not quite there. It's right, actually right around there. Indicator right there. Uh, March the 20th. Another bottom right here around December 9th, 2018. Oh, that March to the 20th was 2020, by the way. Got another bottom here at um, 
roughly around. I'm not going to be able to get it. There we go. January the 14th, 2015. So on. You can see that. But let's zoom in at this point and see what's going on here. Six months zoom in. Um, price is, again, dark, uh, the darker gray here. And our bottom indicator line is this orange line. It dipped below the green line and then bottom out and, sw and went back up. I thought, didn't we just do this one? This looks familiar. Let's see, NTHS dormancy flow. I thought we did this. Yeah, we did this. Oh, we did this already. No wonder why it looks so familiar. Let me erase that. Okay, and this is a very busy chart. Um, I combined several of those indicators into one chart just to see some trends together. So, um, and what we didn't see on the, uh, the other chart was this blue line. It's an RSI uh, of some of these. Uh, let's see what this is. Yeah, this is an RSI of the M3. M3, uh, whoa, what happened to my RSI? I turned it off. Uh, of the BTC price line, yeah. So I, I put in the RSI of the price and uh, match it up with some of these other indicators to see what it looks like. So we want to uh, zoom in, since it's too busy, zoom down. Let's zoom in in the six months interval and see. So here's the uh, R RSI here, the blue line. Um, you can see that it bottoms out here, bottom out here, and went up and going back down again. Price is the, the, uh, the black line here. And so compared to the rest, uh, let's zoom down. Got to see this and zoom out first. This ribbon up here, you can see that it's right in on the orange line. And I think this ribbon was the one we saw earlier. Back one of these ch charts. I forget which one it was. But um, yeah, we've seen that ribbon. So we're just matching up with that ribbon to the RSI. So the pr um, the pr price right there is riding along the ribbon, the uh, the orange ribbon right there, and it's trending down. You see that, and then while the RSI is trending down here also, um, and let's see here, and the blue line. Let's zoom out a little bit so you can see the blue line first. Oh, that blue line is this blue line. It's the horizontal blue line, and that this gray spiky line. That's the um, MVRV line. We saw a version of it earlier. Um, let's zoom back out. And that's this uh, line right here. The, the light lighter gray line. That's the MVRV. So with this, I can see uh, a combination of what's going on. It might be confusing for some people, but MVRV is trending down. RSI is somewhat trending down. We got the... Um, the price hovering above but trending down towards the uh, orange ribbon and so this one gives me like an overview it's like okay what, what's all of them doing together so overall they're, they're trending down um, together and so looking at all these various bottom indicators it leads me to believe that we're the bottom's not in yet um, there's a hint that it is coming but we're not there yet so when, when I see other uh, analysts, I, I don't consider myself an analyst. I'm just the guy next door. But uh, when I see uh, other analysts or uh, crypto influencers calling the bottom in already, um, you know, that's, that's some perspectives. But I think we got to take a look at uh, various indicators and see, okay, are we really in yet or are we not? Um, on the macro side, if you look at a lot of the um, uh, hodlers or long-term uh, long holders uh, metrics, you can see that we're very bullish on the macro. Like long-term, Bitcoin is, is a lot of potential for Bitcoin uh, on the macro side long-term. Uh, but in the short term, uh, what we're dealing with here, additional data will help us uh, make the most informed decisions that we can 
in case it does go down, uh, we gotta be prepared for that. I hope you find uh, this. Uh, I hope you found this video helpful. And if it add value to you, smash the like, ring uh, the bell, and subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you in the next video today. Take care.